The rhinoceros is one of the most recognizable large animals alive today. It's part of a group of mammals that emerged around 50 million years ago and diversified into a variety of forms. For this video, however, we'll be looking at all extant members of the family rhinocera today and seeing what makes each species unique from one another. Today we have five living members of the family. The white rhinoceros, Ceratotherium simum, the black rhinoceros, Diceros spicornis, the Indian rhinoceros, Rhinoceros unicornis, the Javan rhinoceros, Rhinoceros sandaicus, and the Sumatran rhinoceros, Dicerorhinus sumatrensis. The key difference between African and Asian rhinos is the presence of tusks on the lower jaw, which the black and white rhino lack. In the three Asian rhinos, these tusks are used for fighting between individuals as well as warding off predators like tigers. African rhinos, on the other hand, use their horns almost exclusively for these matters. The white rhino is the largest species of rhinoceros. They can measure in at over 2 meters or 6 foot 6 inches in height and weigh over 3,500 kilograms or 3.8 tons. They typically live in South Africa and those northern subspecies was once widespread in areas such as the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's now functionally extinct with the last two members being female. White rhinos have the second largest horns of all rhinos. The front horn can be as long as 102 centimeters or roughly 40 inches and the posterior horn can measure about 55 centimeters or roughly 21 inches. White rhinos are known for their wide square upper lips which they use for grazing. The form of their lips is actually where their name comes from. The Dutch word wide was originally used to describe these animals, but it became mistranslated to English as white. In reality, the white rhino is no more white than the black rhino is black. The black rhinoceros is the smaller of the two African species, measuring in at about 170 centimeters or about 5 point feet at the shoulder and weighing 1300 kilograms or 1.4 tons. Despite being shorter than the white rhinoceros, it possesses larger horns, measuring in at about 130 centimeters or 51 inches for the front horn and about 55 centimeters or 21 inches for the horn in the back. A good way to tell the white and black rhinos apart is by their lips. While white rhinos have square lips, the upper lips of black rhinos are prehensile, which is used for their browsing habits. Given that these two rhinoceros species have two distinct types of feeding, they're able to coexist together in the same habitat without having to compete with one another. Asian rhinos are split into two genera, Rhinoceros and Dicerorhinus. The easiest way to tell them apart is by the number of horns they have. The Indian and Javan rhinoceros have only one horn, whereas the Sumatran rhinoceros has two. The Indian rhinoceros has the largest total population of the three Asian rhinoceros species. It's found in northeastern India in areas such as Assam. It's the second largest rhino species overall, measuring in at 2 meters or 6 foot 6 to the shoulder and weighing about 3200 kilograms or about 3.5 tons, although its horn is only 20 centimeters in males, which is about 9.8 inches. Indian rhinos are known for their thick skin, which thanks to the layers of folds and rivet-like tubercles, looks a lot like armor plating. Like the white rhino, the Indian rhino is primarily a grazer, though during the winter months they can often take to browsing. The Javan rhinoceros is very similar to their larger Indian cousins, although they are much smaller. They are about 160 centimeters or 5 foot 2 inches tall and weigh about 1200 kilograms or 1.3 tons, and they have horns that are as short as 20 centimeters or 7.8 inches. Some members are actually known for having no horns at all. They are known as being browsers, though much of this could be due to their extremely restricted habitat being forested area. They are only alive in the wild in a small part of Java in Indonesia, and they are one of the rarest mammals in the world. The Sumatran rhinos perhaps the most bizarre looking of all the rhinoceros species. This rhino is 150 centimeters or 4 foot 9 feet tall at the shoulder and weighs about 950 kilograms or a little over 1 ton. It has two horns like its African relatives, although they're far smaller, with a front horn length of 55 centimeters or 22 inches and 10 centimeters or 3 inches for the posterior horn. It's the oldest species of rhino alive today, with its genus thought to have branched off around 25.9 million years ago in the Miocene. It's also stated that the Sumatran rhinoceros is much more closely related to the two African rhinos as opposed to its Indian and Javan cousins, which makes morphological sense since they all have two horns. However, it's also said to be a close relative of the now extinct woolly rhinoceros, Celodonta antiquitatus, that inhabited Eurasia during the late Ice Age. This is evident given their far hairier appearance compared to other rhinos, especially in their young. This rhino lives in the forest of Sumatra in western Indonesia, and it's also a browser. 
All five rhino species are threatened. While the southern white rhino is best off at 18,000 individuals, the same can't be said for the other four species. They're all critically endangered, with less than 6,000 black rhinos, 3,600 Indian rhinos, and a staggeringly low 80 and 72 Sumatran and Javan rhinos respectively. That's not even including the northern white rhinos, which as stated before is a functionally extinct species. Poaching, especially for the illegal animal trade, has decimated this animal and without direct intervention, it's unlikely at this rate that these animals will survive much longer. One gram, uh, two million dollars. About 94 US dollars for one gram. 94? It's wow. Mr. Rhino. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I've also left a couple of links in the description down below to where you can support rhino conservation out in the wild. I'll be back next week with a new video so look forward to that.